Hey guys, my name is Matty Flip. I am a streamer and content creator, and I'm here to show you guys how I stream to Twitch and TikTok at the same time using two instances of OBS. So as you can see, I already have one instance of OBS uh, open and running, and my profile is set to Twitch, and my scene collection is set to Twitch as well. So what you're going to wanna do uh, before you open your second instance of OBS is go and make a new profile. Uh, so I'm going to create new. Uh, we're going to call this um, TikTok test just because I already have uh, these uh, set up. So I'm going to do TikTok test, hit OK, and then you're going to go into your settings for your profile. Uh, and you're going to go to your video and you're going to change it from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. It should auto fill it in anyway. Uh, your output scale should be the same. So 1080 by 1920 and then you can choose your downscale filter and your uh, frame rate uh, as you choose you can change this to 60 if you have a 60 fps camera um, or if your computer can handle it then you're just going to click ok actually no you're going to go to output uh, you're going to change this actually this should be at 2500 kilobits per second for TikTok. that seems uh, pretty good you're going to want to change this to advanced and make sure that you are uh, changing this from x264 to NVIDIA NVEC H264, which is your GPU. Um, and then leave rescale output turned off, CBR for control bit rate, and then 2,500 kilobits per second should be just fine. Everything else you can kind of leave where it's at. We're gonna hit apply and hit okay. Actually, nope, before I hit okay, we're gonna go to stream and you're going to change this to uh, custom. And this is where you're going to get the uh, server link as well as your stream key. You're gonna get those from TikTok. Once you guys get those, you'll copy and paste them and put them in here, and then you'll click okay. All right, so now your profile is set up for TikTok. However, your, your scene collection is not formatted for TikTok. So what you need to do is also make a new scene collection. So we're gonna make a new one. We're gonna call this TikTok test. We'll put TST, whatever. I don't know if it's going to give me a notification if it has the same name as the profile. So we're going to click OK. And then you're going to, what I normally do uh, is I will at this point launch the second version of OBS. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to double click on OBS Studio. We're going to click Yes. It's going to tell me that OBS Studio is already running. Uh, unless you meant to do this, please shut down any existing instances of OBS before trying to run a new instance. Blah, 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 blah. So we're just going to click launch anyway, and it's going to launch a second copy of OBS here in just a second. There it is. Uh, and it's going to tell me that the uh, WebSocket is not working because it's being used by the other instance of OBS. That's fine. We don't need that right now. That's perfectly fine. So here, now we have two instances of OBS running. So what I need to do is I need to change this one back to our uh, Twitch profile, right? So we're gonna go back to our Twitch profile here and back to our Twitch scene collection. Now on the right side, which is TikTok, we're going to go to the scene collection. We're gonna go to that one we just made. It's going to be a blank canvas. And what I normally do is I'll start virtual cam on this left-hand side so that I can capture everything that's in this scene. Right, and then I'll go over to the right side where TikTok is, hit the little plus sign, we'll go to video capture device. Uh, we're gonna call this OBS virtual cam, right? We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna go into the devices and we're going to find OBS virtual camera right here. So we'll click on that and now my virtual camera is showing up on the TikTok page. However, it doesn't really fit this format. So what I do is I center it and I bring it all the way to the bottom and then I make it as big as I need to make it. If you prefer to show your whole screen, you can, you can do this um, and kind of put a background behind it or something like that. So if I wanted to add a little uh, flair to it here and make it look nice, I could go into here, we'll make an image I'll find an image real quick. Uh, what do we got here? I don't even know what I have. Um, 
we'll just use that for now right so we're going to take this picture and we're going to move that to the bottom behind the virtual camera we're just going to stretch it out so it looks like i got a nice little background behind my my stream um uh, or you can do what i do what i normally do is i'll make this as big as possible center it and that way i can put some text here at the top um saying go check me out on on twitch whatever you would you can put your stream schedule up there you can add overlays for like your follower goals and stuff up here uh, any links you want to put in for your live stream you would put up here at the top or if you want you can move this to the top and put it on the bottom um, whatever you'd like to do but at this point uh, you should have your stream key for TikTok set up on this profile right here on the right which is our TikTok one and then twitch over here your profile should be set to your Twitch profile, which is going to send the stream to Twitch. And once you're ready to go, you will just hit start streaming on both of these and you'll be streaming to both platforms at the same time. Uh, I hope this helps you guys. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in my DMs, uh, my Discord DMs, Instagram. Uh, you can leave a comment. I will do my best to get back to any comments and respond to you guys. Uh, I appreciate all the support and love and um, I wish you the best of luck in your streaming journeys, guys. Peace.